Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Some of you have been waiting for this, some of you have been dreading this. But, let's end Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Everybody, this is the final battle. The final battle with Smithy. And, uh, right before the fight, uh, in last video, he turned his giant head into a cannon of sorts. This is his physical attack phase. This, uh, Smithy has a total of four different phases in this battle. Uh, he, they're not chronological, and he actually just switches between them randomly. So you can actually see like one phase like five different times in one battle. So that's quite normal. In this phase, uh, he obviously has very strong physical attacks. Uh, as you can see, he just did a 28 damage blow against Toadstool. And that's not normal, because she has the lazy shell on, so that's actually capable of doing a lot of damage. <clears throat> now we are in his magical attack phase. In this, fa in this phase, he has a variety of very strong magical attacks, some of which you haven't even seen before. And they are really powerful. They can do damage to Peach, and they can also do big damage to Mario and Gino. So, this phase may seem like the most dangerous, however, this is also the phase where you can do the most damage. If you haven't noticed, uh, Smithy's defensive power has plummeted very much. So we are capable of doing over 300 damage, 400 with Mario, just in one hit. And here's something funny about the phases, like, whenever he switches, they can sometimes transform back in the same phase he was just in, so... The phase switches are completely random. In fact, there might be a battle where you don't even encounter all the phases. I'm pretty sure in this battle, we will uh, see them all. So as you saw there, we just got a taste of Spear Rain, a new attack. And there's also an Arrow Rain. So Smithy is capable of uh, doing a lot of new attacks. And they're all very powerful, too. And he has some old attacks, too. Like, he has Sword Rain. And I believe he has Meteor Swarm and Boulder and some other attacks like that. So, yeah. But he has very low defense in that phase. So, you can expect to uh, get a lot of damage off of his uh, HP level just from that phase. Here we have the... I want to say the chest phase or the... 10 phase, or I don't know what this phase is called. Oh, it's a, called a tank phase, I believe. Uh, there's the cannon phase, a magician phase, uh, tank phase, and chest phase. This is the tank, I believe. In this phase, Smithy is actually capable of uh, taking less damage. Uh, it's very high defense. And the attack that it used earlier, Shredder, most people don't know, don't know what that attack does. It actually... Uh, um, Jeez, so many things to talk about at once. Okay, the tank phase, the shredder fit, the shredder move, actually removes any um, physical boosts that your characters may have. So if you've used like Geno boost on a character, or if you use like a red essence on a character, that uh, that little boost that'll be negated. So that's what shredder does. Only two enemies in the game have shredder. This this uh, that tank form of Smithy, and then the secret box boss at Monster Town. Which we'll do Monday, by the way. Okay, so, uh... Um... In between, when I was talking about the Shredder move, uh, Smithy actually changed forms to a chest phase, where his head was a giant treasure chest. Uh, that's, gonna, that's called the chest phase, I believe. And in that phase, all of his attacks attack every single party member. And they all give, they give, uh, depending on what's inside the chest, you get a status ailment, uh, based on what's inside the chest. So let's see what the next one's gonna be, um, we'll wait till he attacks. Oh wait, he used his, uh, finger gun, never mind. I don't know if he'll use another attack or not. Okay. See, inside the chest was a ghost, so that means he's going to be using the fear element. And as you can see, Mario and Gino got scared. 
Uh, Toadstool didn't because uh, she's wearing the Jinx belt, I believe, or Lazy Shell. Lazy Shell, I believe that's right. Which negates all those uh, status ailments. And now he switched back to his wizard phase. He did Meteor Swarm, a very powerful attack if you can't remember. So yeah, basically this is more of just like an endurance test. Not very hard if your team's uh, equipped with very good items. Without Lazy Shell, I'm sure this battle will be a lot harder than I'm making it look. Uh, definitely, by far. He should be almost done, though. We've nailed quite a bit of HP of his uh, HP level. And I believe he only had... I believe he has uh, 7,000 hit points. Yeah, only 7,000. That's like the highest in the game, I believe. It's either the first highest or the second highest. I don't remember which has more than secret boss or this boss. We'll find out. Yep, even Boulder still does a high amount of damage. And if I remember correctly, um, I believe Mario will deal the final blow of this battle. Oh wait, we gotta do another round of attacking, but we're almost done. Wow. Gino actually dealt the final blow. Okay, Smithy is completely done now. You can uh, hear him shouting that he can't believe he's dead, he can't believe he's finally been beaten. And now he's going to explode. Oh goody, uh, uh, an explosion in hell. <laughs> okay, Smithy has been defeated. And there we have the final star piece. Send the last one way up high. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the game's called Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. At the very end of the game, we get all seven stars. It's kind of funny how in future uh, Mario RPG games, where like once you get all the seven objects, whether they're stars or crystal stars or pure hearts, Although, I think there's eight pure hearts. Um, you After you get them all, like, there's still, like, one last trial you need to complete. In this game, once you get the last star, it's over. And they're all gonna fall down to Earth. I wonder why. Gino is gonna thank us for all of our help. And then... The star pieces will surround him. They're circling him. Oh no. Does this mean he's going away? Is he going back to Star Haven or Star Road or Star Haven or wherever he's from? Oh no. Gino's leaving us. And all that is left is the doll form that he inhabited during this quest. All of our party members are having one last wish. A wish on the last shooting star. Ladies and gentlemen, the Star Road has been fixed, which means they can finally do their job, that they can finally rid this world of chaos, the chaos that consumed this world at the very beginning of the game. Let us watch as the great evil is vanished from this world. And the blue skies will form once again. Stay tuned for another video that will be up momentarily.